Hello everybody, welcome on back to another gem editor video. This one's going to be looking at the Halo Silent Cartographer mod again, specifically looking at advanced usage of the Pelican. So, today is going to be a longer one because it covers a lot. However, you can adapt this video and take bits and pieces of what I'm about to show you and apply it to your own battle. And what I mean by that is specifically maybe if you only wanted, say, to just have the Warthog drop or another vehicle or just wanted infantry to get out and not do, you know, get out, then get into the Warthog and animate the back door and whatnot. So don't let it scare you for how much I'm about to show. But if you want to use the whole thing, cool. If you don't, then just use the bits and pieces you need. But right off the bat, we're going to spawn a Pelican we're going to use. I'm going to go to the humans and... Now we're going to need to obviously man this pelican. I'm going to get two pilots, throw them on in there, and then a shitload of marines. Now, when it comes to your marines, this gets a little weird, but only specifically if you're using a vehicle. If you want them to get out and crew the vehicle themselves. If you don't want them to get out and crew it themselves, you don't need to do this part. But I'm a little extra, so I'm going to do it. So you need to choose the amount of marines you want to crew that. In this case, I'm going to use three, just because there's three seats. Give them a unique tag. I'm going to name them hog underscore marine. Doesn't matter what you give them as long as you know what it is and it's unique to those units. I'm going to give the hog a tag, pelican a tag, and then our marines that are going inside the pelican. Uh, pelican marines. Cool. Now, the pelican, I've noticed something weird as of the version I'm using. May or may not apply to yours depending on when you're watching this video. But if you do not have the back of the pelican fully crewed with as many marines as can fit in it, when you use the emit command, the marines will not get out of the pelican. So even if you have all but one seat filled in that pelican, for some reason, you can get them out if you manually, you know, have the pelican selected like this and tell them to get out. But if you're using a trigger with emit, it won't work. Don't know why. But just keep in mind for that. Now I'm going to tell my hog marines to get in there first. And then I've got... Definitely too many Marines to fit in the back, but I'm just going to grab as many as I can to hopefully fill that up and delete the extras. Looks like there are four that can't make it. Yep. Okay, so we're going to get rid of them and then wait for these guys to get in there. Just going to speed this up real quick. And perfect. Okay, now obviously we need to start our Pelican in the air, so I'm just going to put him up there. While he's going up, I'm going to start our waypoints. So... Uh, I guess we can just have our pelican stay where it is. Start waypoint zero. And now, okay, he is on the move. So, we've got waypoint zero, and then waypoint one, in this case, is going to be where I'm doing all the action. So, before I forget, I'm going to set up the start, just so this pelican knows to start on that waypoint. So, this is just going to be a simple actor to waypoint. So, other actor to waypoint. Start them on zero. Obviously, the tag for this is going to be our pelican, or whatever you named yours in the approach. I'm going to use teleport rotate. You can also use force, depending on what you're doing. doesn't really matter. Now, the important stuff is going to be right here, and it's going to get messy. But our first command, obviously, is going to be to get this pelican to land on the ground. So we're going to go to actor, air state, and then you're just going to check the ground box, and that's it. Now, next we're going to want it to drop the hog first. The reason we want to drop the hog first before we tell the units to get out is because there's a slight chance, depending on how much the engine likes or hates you, that the hog will crush the marines if it's bouncing around once it hits the ground. So, we're going to want to add a delay. And the other reason is, if we just add the hog drop, it'll drop as soon as the pelican starts going down, not before it hits the ground, which means you might drop this hog from, give or take, 200 feet up in the air, which... At that point, it's definitely going to blow up or flip on its side. So, I'm going to do a little delay here. Let's say 5. And then we will have an effect. And we're going to use deploy. And deploy just drops the warthog. Now, because we're extra in this video, we're also going to have the back door open up. So, we need to do an animation. It's going to be entity and animate. And in the animation, you're going to do open underscore back door. Now, if you're wondering where the hell I found that from and how I knew to write that, if you select any unit or vehicle or even humans, if you select them and hit U and then go to call function, you go to any play, and you can use this drop down menu, and these are all the animations for that unit. So, if you open back door and I just want to see what this looks like, you can hit call, and as you can see, back door is going to open. Cool. Maybe we want to close it. 
Perfect. Or mess with some random animations that don't make sense, like the landing gear while it's flying. You can also do those as well. But that's how you find out what animation applies to what unit. Now back to this. Go back down here. So we've got, it's going to deploy. It's going to open that door. And then we'll give it a delay of one or two to let that hog bounce around. Let's just say two. Because inevitably is, is going to bounce around a little bit before the engine lets it stick per se on the ground and now we're going to have our units get out we want our marines that are going to be getting in the warthog specifically to get out first so to do that we're going to go to actor emit and now we're going to emit our hog marines there we go and we want them to get into this hog now so to make them get in and we're going to give them a slight delay say about three because we want those units to get out of the pelican before it tries to make them board the hog because if they're not out of the pelican and just to be safe let an extra second if they're out, out of the pelican before this board command that we're going to use actor board before this board command is executed then that means the marines won't get in kind of stupid but it's how the engine works now for board we need to change the selector because it's on waypoint right now and this means it's going to try to tell the pelican to board something that's dumb as fuck and does not make sense. So we're going to change this to standard. The tag, we're going to say, what do we want boarding? In this case, it's going to be the hog marines. And we want them to board our vehicle that has the tag, in this case, hog. Nice and easy. Let's say we want our hog to drive somewhere after those marines hop on in. So I'll just throw a waypoint out here. And they'll drive off into the sunset. So we need to tell them to do that. And obviously that is going to be another waypoint or actor to waypoint. So other actor to waypoint. Once again, got to change this to standard because we want it to apply to our hog and not the pelican. And then the hog is going to go to waypoint two and we are going to force that. Perfect. Now we need to emit our other guys. So we're going to copy our emit and you just right click on that hit copy. We want to emit the crew that is just pelican marines. And now we can give them their own waypoint as well, which I'll just make the next one's going to be five. And then I guess we can just throw that over here. Cool. Now, if we want those Marines to be running as they get out of the Pelican, maybe they're in a battle and just need to charge instead of walking because the default uh, movement speed for an act, once you tell these Marines to get out, they're just going to walk from these waypoints. So if that's what you want, cool. If not, come down here, actor state. Once again, selector, we don't want this to apply to the pelican. We want it to apply to our marines getting out. And all you need to do is change the speed down here to something like assault or maybe one of the other ones, depending on what you want. Now, marines got out, got that hog, drove off. These marines got out and went over there. We're going to give them a delay so they got some time to get out of there. We'll just say about 10. Hopefully that's enough time. If not, some marines are going to get stuck in there. And then we just want to be able to close that door. So entity animate and then close underscore back door. Now, if I have not messed anything up, which <laughs> for a waypoint with this many commands, the odds are slim, but we will give it a shot. Okay. All right, hog's going to drop. Door's opening. It's going to bounce around. As predicted, those should be our hog marines. Yep. They are going to hop in their warthog. Oh, and they're going to forget their gunner because he was too slow, and he's going to die to something. <laughs> so I just need to adjust the delay before that warthog goes off and maybe add a second so the gunner can get on there. And then that door's going to close, and these marines are running off. So as you can see, there's a lot going on there. Just need to adjust this because I believe the delay was not long enough. Yeah, if you just add like another second to that, then... Or add, I guess there is no delay, so add a delay of one second or so before this uh, board command starts. Oh yeah, there it is. Then the gunner wouldn't have died. <laughs> but nonetheless, that's how that works with the pelican commands. You can adjust this to yourself. If you got any questions, feel free to leave them below if I missed anything. Also that. But without further ado, I will see you in the next one.